guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we're at the Museum of Science and Industry checking out their all new robotic exhibit. I have here Jason, the lead robotics, uh, actually you're in charge of this area, is that correct? Yeah, there's actually three robot specialists and we repair what breaks throughout the day and we also change all the batteries. My background is in education and I worked at another museum prior to coming here. Okay. And with this exhibit, we actually travel. So, so far it's been here at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. It's been in Denver and it's been in Philadelphia. So we travel with it and are constantly repairing what needs to be repaired and upkeeping too. And as it does travel, we have new robots. Very nice. So uh, this year is actually anything that you haven't really seen in your house or anything like that. And these robots are one of a kind. So let's just kind of go through each one and kind of talk about it. Now, uh, this year, this is what, Robot... Uh, Robo Pespian. Robo Pespian, okay. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about this robot? Yeah, this robot is uh, designed and developed by Engineer Arts. They're in the United Kingdom. And you can actually control this robot using a touch screen here. So if you come up to the library and you simply push one of these, so we'll have him say a little poem. Circuits are red, actuators are blue. Robotics is sweet, and Robo Thespian loves. Oh, hi. Did you like my bowing? Very nice. So, uh, as you can tell, you probably have a lot of different servos, is that correct? He's controlled with servos and different air muscles. Oh, nice. Also. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the new Robotis Mini. Now, this is actually made by Robotis, a company we've seen before that also made the Bioloid robot. Now, this here is actually one of the Pride robots, uh, which we actually seen the OP2, which is back there. Uh, so this here is actually the, the Mini Darwin, uh, in which is just programmed as a typical humanoid robot, in which we can actually just kind of do different functions, such as dance, walk, play soccer, and so much more. So let's go ahead and turn him on and see what he does. So uh, they kind of have a setup where you have an app, uh, so you can actually do like, Move him forward, uh, move him back, breathe. And you can tell that his servos are quite quick. Uh, he moves quite quick as well too, that's pretty interesting. You got some karate too. <laughs> Very nice. Definitely uh, see him coming up in my future in my death battle videos. <laughs> and uh, what do we have here? Uh, this is actually uh, Amran. So what is this typically used for it in uh, the real world? Uh, in the industry, this would be used to use the hospital to help you carry around medicine. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. You can see if you want to move around the side. But this particular one is oh, so it's got loaded with shelves. So we also use it to help us carry some of our tools and batteries to the different robots <laughs> when we need it. That's nice. Oh, okay. 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 this is uh, our cube extension. It's a modular robotics system. Excuse me. Please and design all of these. Could and they oh, yes. uh, together just a little bit like Legos. So Jason, what do we what do we have here? This here is our hexapod robot. We call it Daisy. And the reason it's called Daisy is because all of these red modules, all the motors in there, are Daisy chained together. Interesting. Alright, let's so let's go ahead and try this out. Now this is actually a recon scout uh, robot. Literally you want to throw it like a grenade and throw it in there. So just pop it. And then you can actually uh, just kind of drive it. And you look over here, you actually have a nice visual of it. And I believe it's got night vision too. So you can see that it does go off the range quite well. That's pretty interesting. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, this is our Scala Motorman, and it, yeah, and I'll play Robotic 21. Alright, uh, you wanna play? How about you, Jason? Let's, let's jump in, shall we? That's <laughs> feeling, that's so awesome. Yeah, we're gonna open the card for us, and I'll actually scan the card, because it does all the math for us on the tablet. Oh, cool, so, so it says your total is six, and I'll actually show the card at the same time. I won! Woohoo! Oh, there 
you have it. Uh, that was pretty fun. Now, I can definitely see this being in casinos. But yeah, very unique concept, definitely interesting, and quite clever programming, actually. Yeah, it's amazing how fast it moves. It's able to <laughs> dump, out the, dump out the little pills there, and then it will sort them back by color into those oh, wow. plastic bottles. So it's got color recognition, and this is kind of showing everything that it's thinking about at the same time. Right? Yes. Oh, that's pretty quick. <laughs> it's only about 70% of the the maximum speed. We really? Found out if we, we put the maximum speed on there, it will tear apart the suction cups. <laughs> uh, Baxter, the infamous Tesla. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we just kind of have a place. Can you turn it on? I don't know. Baxter can play against two players at once, yeah? So to start, you okay. press start and then you'll lay your O. On the usage, the batteries last about an hour, so okay. we do change the batteries every hour. And then, you know, as, a, as one of the little servo motors goes bad, we just are able to snap it on and snap it off. Right. Almost like Legos. Oh, yeah. Uh, these are all the other ones that you got over here, huh? Yeah, yeah so all that oh, wow. we got. We got some of them dressed up for the Cubs, some yeah. of them like <laughs> Depending on whatever uh, the fans prefer. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> I think it depends on who, what sound yeah, is working yeah, exactly. too. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the OP2. But the MTM is still currently set up on just the visual tracking. As you can tell, it does see your face and it'll actually track it. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the best humanoid robots on the market. Take over the final one by itself. There's a little way you can tell if you climb down and see what you can climb down the stairs there. The robot takes control. So this is doing it all autonomously. Mm -hmm. And you have a live view camera and you have oh, that's pretty mm -hmm. and Now you can just go back up by doing the same thing. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Crazy how technology is changing, you know? It is. Yeah. You know, so we got a little soccer thing set up over yeah, here as well. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so they actually play on their own, huh? Yep. We're able to do that because Yeah, that's not something you see every day. Woo! Oh! <laughs> 
Now these are facial expressions. So uh, depending on what you click, they'll actually uh, demonstrate that feature, huh? So if I do angry, you can see his eyes kind of rotate. It's interesting how they did that. Thank you, Dave Sands. You assigned to the industry for uh, taking out your time to show us all these cool looking exhibits here. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.